The war between Ukraine and Russia has been going on for one year. Many cities have been destroyed, much equipment lost, millions of dollars wasted, and most importantly, many lives lost. Who was to blame for this situation and why? USA, China, and Russia. Three most powerful nations in the world, owner of the best war equipment, advanced medicine, the best technology and the best trained army on the entire planet. Together, these three nations, with some effort, can bring solution for peace, at least in some part of the globe. Considering the money invested in the military sector by these nations, they will be able to eliminate poverty in many countries and make man's life better than he ever dreamed of. Well, it seems to be a dream or some crazy talks, because unfortunately, this is not how things happen. Nations are increasingly divided than ever. The war in Ukraine is Russia's fault because Russia invaded an innocent country that poses zero threat to its security. Russia did not respect Ukraine's independence and sovereignty and projected its insecurity and fear of NATO approach onto Ukraine. The war in Ukraine is China's fault because China did almost nothing to prevent this war, even though it is a much closer ally of Russia. Because of the policy of not interference with Russia, China has only watched tension between Ukraine and Russia grow, and even though it knows that one of its most important political and military ally will suffer terrible sanction and economic decline if it becomes involved in this war, China did not advise for a better solution, even though it is one of the most powerful nations in the world with the capacity to interfere in what could cause problem for the world peace. The war in Ukraine is the fault of the United States of America, because the way the USA handled the tension between Ukraine and Russia showed that the USA was interested in getting Russia into a war and not preventing it. The United States of America did almost nothing to prevent the war, denying all of Russia's condition for non-invasion. Instead of trying to avoid the invasion and the war, the USA has always promised sanction in case of invasion, causing the Russian leadership to feel a sense of provocation and defiance. Not the important international position that the United States of America has. For many decades, the USA have been a great example for many democratic nations and a dream for non-democratic nations. The United States of America is not only one of the most powerful countries in the world, but the most powerful among many. The USA could avoid the war without handing over Ukraine to Russia, but also without losing a single finger. As a former Portuguese general says, one man's phone call could end this war tomorrow. This man's name is Joe Biden. And remember, exerting pressure and imposing sanctions against Russia to destroy it economically and bring in social stability does not make the world a better place. We must consider that another nation is being destroyed and humanity lose twice, Ukraine and Russia.